Good. Yeah. Did you watch some of, I mean, did you read uh, from our Telegram page some of the questions they were asking? Today, uh, today I think Kerala interview has started and uh, the questions were all normal only, not very tough questions they have asked so far. So they have been very nominal questions. And Yashashvi, which date you have your interview? Sir, the admit card for interview is not released till now. Oh, very good. You have more advantage before you. Good. Very good. Nofel, your interview is on 20th, 30th, na? Yes, sir. 30th. Very good. Excellent. Varsha, uh, your interview is on which date? Varsha is connecting. Yeah, let her come. Good, good, good. Now, on which topic would you, are you going to talk? I have given you so many new topics. And I don't know which one will you talk. Uh, we will start with our friend Sheshvi Gupta because she came first. That's the reason. Sheshvi Gupta, on which topic are you going to talk? For how many minutes can you talk to us? Uh, I will today talk on Digital India. Very good. So you would like to talk on Digital India. Good. That seems to be a nice topic. Um, yeah, uh, Deva Priya is coming. Let her come. Good. Digital India. What? How come you are interested in this area, SSV? Are you a science student? Yes, sir. I've done MSc Mathematics, so I've studied some computer science papers also in very, mathematics. Very good. That is the, that's a very valid a reason that can make you develop interest in that. I'm happy about that. Um, yeah. Now, um, friends, uh, our Varshashvi is going to talk on um, digital currency. Var Varsha, which topic would you like to talk? Are you ready with that? Varsha. Yes, social empowerment programs. Social so uplift, empowerment uplift, programs. Empowerment. Very nice. Gokul. Which topic would you like to talk, Gokul? Sir, net neutrality. Oh, how new topic. <laughs> Good. Murdula, which topic you may like to talk to us? Sir, can I talk about one motivational film? Motivational film, yes. But you must try to tell how it can be related to our present job role. Yes, sir. Very good. Now, Deva Priya Das, which topic would you like to talk to us? Sir, I would like to talk about Paradigm's online innovation. <laughs> That's good. Federal, Federal Bank's online innovations. You will be attending our... Um, okay. Because it may overlap with our today's discussion in banking class. Um, doesn't matter. Let it come because we only one few of us are here. Yes, Sheshvi Gupta, welcome. Please come and talk to us about digital currency and uh, just a minute. Uh, Sheshvi, uh, uh, for how many minutes are you prepared to talk today? Uh, four to five minutes on digital India, not a digital currency. Achha, achha, achha. Digital India. Oh. Yes. It's a wide area. Oh, one minute. Let me check up whether my stopwatch, where is my stopwatch? Where it will be? Clock. Under clock. This timer. No, that's a stopwatch. Why it is going like this? Stopwatch means, uh, no, no, no. How to make it nil. Uh, very bad. Hmm? How to stop it nil. It doesn't matter. Leave it. You... You carry on um, SSV, Digital India. First time I'm hearing about this topic and I'm very excited to uh, listen to you and to know more things from you. SSV Gupta of Uttar Pradesh. Which part of Uttar Pradesh, please? The Rai Bareli. Ah, Rai Bareli. Uh, the constituency from where uh, Priyanka has been elected? No, she is not elected. She contested. Acha acha. The place where she was uh, not selected. Correct? Yes. Yes. Acha acha. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 
success and failure is part and parcel of our life. Start Sheshvi Gupta. Continue. Okay, Digital India, this program was launched in 2015 by the government of India to provide the government services electronically to every section of the society. Its objective is to connect the rural areas with the high speed internet connectivity through optical fiber cable, connect all the gram panchayats so that all the work in the villages, all the paperwork which is in the villages, it could be done electronically through the common service center. Now, this, is, this program of Digital India had three key vision areas. First is about infrastructure. Now, to set up, uh, to set up this Digital India program, infrastructure is very important. Data centers are required, the optical fiber is required, common service centers so that people can access these services affordably and it is available, viable for everyone. Then second point is governance and the services are on demand. Like we need a PAN card, uh, IT returns, driving license. These requirements are required by every citizen and they are to be renewed on a regular process. So instead of standing in lines and queues, it's better that we can do it from home. So for driving license platforms like Sarthi and Vahan are introduced for PAN, an Aadhaar card, even we can apply from our own home in just minutes. Third is about the digital empowerment of citizens. It is to make digital lit. It is to make the citizens digital literate. They should know how to use these services, how to use computers, mobile phones, so that they can uh, use these services themselves without being dependent on any other institute or any other person. Now I will talk about the initiatives what the government has started under this. First of all, the, the UPI service, Green App has started to, uh, in, 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 uh, to increase financial inclusion and, in, uh, and increase the digital payment options for the people. BMAP, then we have Aadhaar enable payment system in the rural areas where the banking correspondents go and the payment can be done using the Aadhaar uh, number the transfer of money and all other basic account services can be done through that. Then we have a PEHEL uh, portal. It is under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas so that the duplicacy and the duplicacy of the LPG cylinders is avoided. Then we have the smart cities mission to make all cities connected and advanced technology. We have government e marketplace from where the government institutions or government uh, like public sector organizations can place orders mm. electronically. Mm. And right now to promote digital India in July from 4 to 9th July, India, government of India also conducted a digital India week and its theme was catalyzing India's new decade in which company in which CEOs and founders of uh, tech companies came and uh, gave knowledge about how to increase digital India empowerment and increase the participation of people in it. Thank you. Very happy. Very, very happy. Yeah, good. Um, yeah, so though the topic is given, you must prepare and you have prepared very well I am really happy about this. Now, I would like others also to comment and appreciate her. Others, uh, Nofel, how did you listen to that? How did yes, you? Yes, sir, well prepared. I'm, uh, her language is so good. Yeah. It Very is good, good to listen. Very good. Burdula, please. Yeah, tell. First of all, I liked her way of talk and her confidence. Yeah. And uh, her communication was also very good. Yeah. Very well done. Nice. Thank you. Swarnim Raut, aap kuch bataiye inka baare mein? Yes, sir. Uh, she spoke really well. Like, uh, she spoke fluently and without any breaks and all, so which is uh, very nice. Thank you. Uh, Devapriya Das? Yes, sir. As uh, all others have said, she has uh, said it very confidently and without any uh, inhibition. Very good. Thank you. Then who has not spoken? Gokul. Gokul, tell a few uh, words. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. She did well. I think she covered all of the points regarding the digital 
literacy and digital or like we we get all the points regarding this uh, governments yeah Gokul, uh, from where yeah. she has from where she has taken um, most of these points you are aware about it is it from that uh, pdf that you have to give ah yeah exactly yeah. Yes, from harigan thesis are i have given topics from there only na 1 to 5 yeah topics. yeah very yes, good. i'm really happy i'm really happy now varsha please tell some few good words to her not everybody will have opportunity to get that but since she is the first speaker you please appreciate her uh, sir she has a good communication skill and she talked well and talked all relevant points excellent good you know why Thank i wanted you, you why i wanted you to um, appreciate one she deserves it number two see to appreciate others is uh, as as to be a, an inborn quality we have to develop one number two um, by your trying to appreciate others you know you also improve your communication confidence good we'll go to nofal next nofal please come uh, yes sir your topic <laughs> is uh, about gst sir oh gst first first topic very good continue first class yes. uh, good evening everyone today i would like to talk about gst gst full form is goods and service tax so before that i would like to go on the era before gst before gst there was direct tax and indirect tax so in the case of gst it is a new form of indirect tax so gst full form i have already mentioned it is goods and service tax and and that the main purpose is one nation one tax here the government's main aim is to reduce the complexity in tax like if a businessman wants to start a new business there are lot of various tax hidden tax involved in the previous stage now due to gst only one tax need to pay and the gst equation for calculating is output gst minus input gst so i will explain through that one example consider one merchant is buying an equipment from the manufacturer so he has to pay one gst then he is selling that product to the customer then he the customer want to pay has to pay one gst so the difference between these two gst the uh, the shopkeeper has to pay to the government so that is a concept of gst and gst is classified into three type sgst cgst igst sgst the income is going to state government cgst the income is going to central government igst it is integrated gst so in case of a state is doing transaction with another state so in that case integrated gst is uh, applicable and uh, there are another um, various pay scales in gst also 0 percentage 5 percentage 12 percentage to 18 percentage then 28 percentage so uh, zero percentage includes uh, the books uh, foods category and the five percentage include uh, include tea and the, our daily use product like shoe etc packed and goods. in the uh, sorry packed goods packed goods like okay. curd it's recently they have included curd and in certain packed yes sir i am about to speak that yeah. in the 12 to 18 percentage category mobile phone computer they are included in the 28 percentage category they are include luxury products mm. and recently government added some more items to the 5 percentage category that include cared uh, various dairy products such as cheese and packed and unpacked items wheat rice etc wheat rice no 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 wheat rice in packed form packed form acha acha theek hai okay okay and the okay. uh, same mentioned earlier the main advantage is ease of doing business increase of export decrease of commodity price and there are some exception on gst like in some product in petroleum alcohol the government excluded it from gst super so i am extremely happy you talk for nearly 3 minutes good and she also spoke for 3 minutes 30 seconds that is 3 and a half minutes good very nice nofal um your communication ability has certainly improved from what it was earlier that's because one you are thorough with the topic two you are confident 
three you have been practicing very well now um, who will appreciate um, uh, yashashvi you appreciate him yes sir he spoke very well and he also talked about the recent events as well that were in the gst excellent thank you anyhow uh, um, let us go to the next speaker because for want of time uh, nofel don't mistake we'll go to the next speaker nofel are you okay no sir uh, no sir you uh, congratulated me many times no issue <laughs> that will do very good next is varsha ji varsha yes sir your topic social empowerment programs acha acha please uh, thoda your voice is breaking so you please sit in a place where you will have good signal please uh, yes sir sir am i audible right now yeah uh, okay sir um the history of social empowerment started from ancient times and continued throughout medieval period and uh, pre modern age and britishers do continued the system even though it slight changes but few in numbers during british rule our economy was economy was uh, shattered uh, and people were marginalized due to mismanagement poverty uh, and famine uh, after independent india adopted mixed economy and uh, planning commission was established for uh, for different flagship programs and various schemes were established under uh, different area like rural development schemes child welfare uh, scheme women develop, women empowerment scheme uh, and employment generation scheme mm. and rural development started with um, community development program in 1952 but it was not that successful because uh, because of the lack of coordination and uh, uh, no you don't have to tell uh, what, what was the reason given that lack of schemes. lack of coordination and hello uh, by uh, cornering the benefit by uh, rich people uh, and rich and powerful people mm. okay then and uh, other schemes like successfully ongoing mg narega scheme and um, national rural livelihood mission uh, which for every uh, rural livelihood uh, rural households and pradhan mantri uh, gram sadak yojana to connect Uh, the rural areas etc were formulated under the rural development and former no. uh, in the case of the um, women number you are trying to continue i am not, empowerment I, i i don't know whether you okay. are prepared about mg and reg that is a very good one that's a very important one anyhow you, you talk about other issues okay. we'll come to it yeah okay sir Uh, former imf chief has once said that if the number of female workers uh, would increase up to the number of male workers the gdp of india would increase uh, by 27 percentage and when we look into the history women used to enjoy equal power in vedic period from post vedic era they have been denied their rights and uh, they were marginalized to end this discrimination ministry of uh, child and women development has taken lot of initiatives and efforts and the schemes like beti beti bachao beti padhao and suganya uh, samrithi account and ujwal scheme ujwala scheme etc were uh, taken under the initiative of uh, this ministry and icds is one of the largest program for children in the world in that is integrated child development scheme and this scheme provides support not only for children but also for all lactating mothers and mid day meal scheme uh, was introduced to ensure the enrollment attendance and nutritional increasing the nutrition level uh, for children and india's demographic dividend can uh, can be well utilized for better development and schemes like mg narega national rural livelihood mission national urban livelihood mission Uh, etc are aimed at providing skills and employment uh, employment opportunities and welfare schemes are for reducing the inequality providing in uh, the society and participation of citizen from planning to 
implementation of the scheme uh, would help us to uh, increase the efficiency of uh, these schemes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But then uh, you did not touch more on MGN or EGA. Doesn't matter. Next, next time, whenever any opportunity comes, you can speak on that. Because okay. MGN or EGA, PMJDY, uh, these schemes are very Atal Pension Yojana, PMJJBY, PMSBY, PM Fasal Bima Yojana, Mudra schemes. These are common topics. If you learn about them anytime, it will be useful in, in any place. Very good. You also talk very well. You talk for nearly four plus minutes. Good. Yes, sir. We will go to the second, next person who came was Murdula. Murdula, uh, yes, your, topic, your topic is? I would like to narrate uh, uh, the film. Yeah, please tell. Yes, sir. It's a Tamil film. It, yeah, its tell. name is Not Out Kana. Uh, mm. Tamil movie. Yeah. So it's a very inspirational and heart touching movie. And uh, it was the story of a young girl and uh, where her, she had a father. Her father is a farmer, struggling farmer. And but he's the, uh, more interested in cricket. So he, he usually watch, uh, watches cricket and all on TV. And uh, he's very happy while watching. And uh, when India scores, he's uh, very, very happy by seeing that her daughter decides that yes, one day I also want to be a number world, uh, number one cricketer. And uh, I want to make my father proud of it. And father also wanted the same thing. So uh, she used to uh, do the cricket with the, uh, the boys, uh, in her village, but the uh, orthodox villages were unable to accept uh, the female cricketer. They are uh, they are not at all accepting uh, the practicing playing her cricket with the uh, male I means boys, and uh, and also she was going to many struggles such as lack of uh, um, lack of grounds and facilities. But later, uh, at the end of the, uh, to the towards the clim clim climax of this film, she became uh, the international cricketer and uh, won the World Cup. Uh, and uh, he became a proud girl. The, at that time, her father is watching that her performance uh, from that village in a TV, and uh, his uh, eyes was filled with the fears, the tears, and uh, uh, so it was a very heart touching scene. And uh, this uh, here, the father is an ideal father that uh, a girl would love to have. Her father was her motivation, inspiration. Every time he will give the courage to her. So uh, she reached that much level. So in this film, uh, we can get the uh, theme that uh, here we can see the gender inequality, how she overcome from such situations. And the next thing we can see that how a girl was able to uh, reach out that much success level with her hard work. So in our bank also, if we are reaching after doing a lot of hardworking and consistent and committed work, then we can achieve uh, or we can do very well. We can perform there also in a good way. So that is also one uh, thing. Thank you, sir. Good, 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 good. Nice, good. Now I think this is more or less similar to that movie Mary Com, na? Uh, one fire, um, one wrestling or some. Movie. Yes, sir. Mary. Yeah, Mary Com. And I saw one more um, movie also, somewhat related to this in Telugu one boy uh, being made into a famous person from the problems he has been having. Good. It's a good story, inspirational story. Like um, perseverance leads to success. Yes. Practice makes you perfect. Belief in you makes you succeed. For example, uh, I don't know whether it is Ford. Henry Ford has told if you think you can, you can. If you think you cannot, you cannot. You will not be able to achieve success. In fact, yeah. if some of you are interested, I can share with you. There is a book by name, You Can Win. I hope you must have read that. 
you can win by um, name of the author anybody knows who is the author of that i have forgotten shiv kera sir ah uh, shiv kera i have that book with me anybody uh, is have but you must have time to read that there you will get stories like this and all that good very good now we will go to after abdullah came swarnim swarnim na swarnim come start yes uh, sir i would like to talk about my achievement yeah uh, sir i got to learn a lot about this achievement that's why it's close to my heart sir during my graduation we had participated in a tech fest competition where we had to make a working model Mm-hmm. so sir one day before the competition unfortunately our project uh, broke down mm-hmm. and we tried to get a replacement for our faulty product but mm-hmm. it, it was a festival day and uh, late at night so we could not found the replacement mm-hmm. so around 9:30 at night we sort of lost hope but uh, suddenly i remembered a project which i had made in my high school mm-hmm. and i convinced my other two teammates that uh, we can make that project but the other two days thought that uh, in this less time uh, it is impossible to make a working model but i convinced them that at least we will have satisfaction that we tried from our part and it's worth the try we'll get to learn something mm. so uh, we had made a harmonograph sir uh, mm. actually uh, harmonograph it was invented around 1800 Mm. and uh, it's a small portable device it uh, makes a uh, small patterns based on uh, two pendulum or three pendulum so we had made a three pendulum based harmonograph and it used to draw beautiful patterns mm-hmm. and uh, i am very much happy to say sir that next day in the competition uh, we got the first prize and also we had made mm. we Good. had made the project uh, with under 100 rupees of cost and that too with the Uh, items we had in a room nearby to us uh, so like um, we had made the model from waste and i got to learn a lot on that day that is not to give up on the last day and to keep on trying even if the circumstances are against you very good Thank good you. good good so this can be used by you for not only achievements but also for say uh, some difficult experiences you have had or some problems you have overcome you can use this experience for any one of these questions you can tell good okay swarnim you talk very well swarnim you are from which state uh, nagpur sir maharashtra uh, nagpur yeah good fine we will go to gokul and then we have deva priya das gokul yes sir yeah so my topic is net neutrality mm. so i think the net neutrality comes all of with the topic that we have already discussed by our uh, yashwasi regarding the digital india digital india so yeah net neutrality come uh, follows with this digital uh, transformation <coughs> so uh, so what is regarding this net neutrality is net neutrality can be defined as a data traveling over a network mm-hmm. not undergo any kind of discrimination uh, whereas it should be treated as equally mm-hmm. Uh, and telecom uh, tel- uh, but telecom companies have an argument that they should have the right or power to control the flow of data and freedom to charge according charge mm-hmm. accordingly because uh, because of uh, that uh, this company because uh, why they are telling is that they are spending huge amount of money for enhancing this uh, infrastructure or other facility on this uh, data passage of data but here comes the network neutrality uh, that uh, that the principle behind the network uh, network neutrality is to uh, the internet internet traffic sh- uh, shall be treated equally without discrimination and uh, restriction or interference regardless uh, regardless of cho- uh, choice Uh, not restricted to by uh, favors or uh, favors favoring or disfavoring the transmission of internet uh, internet traffic associated with particular content or service or service application or uh, any other devices mm. good uh, yeah, uh, yeah and uh, the uh, another uh, another means of this net neutrality is that uh, uh, internet internet is, uh, is a uh, is uh, that should be allows everyone to communicate freely 
it means that the service provider the like we have service providers in many of the sophia geo airtel something so this service provider should not allow access to all content and application regardless of the source or uh, regardless of the source or website or pay, pay, uh, like they they should not have the power to block or restrict it it restrict it good very nice yes sir yes sir what do you understand by the word perennially perennially ah uh, Ga Gan Ganges is a perennial river yeah uh, it's a uh, think, uh, flowing uh, flow like perennial perennial problem perennial uh, issues perennially means lasting for a long time okay or it is there for all times to come it's a perennial issue it has been there for a long time okay 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 very good laudable means what laudable uh, appreciate appreciable very good breeding uh, breeding means growing yeah okay mandate means compulsory like mandate mandatory mandate, compulsory no no man no no mandatory is compulsory oh okay okay mandate means authority oh okay yeah okay. very good nice okay. you talk nicely uh, okay. very good gokul gokul you are from kerala yes sir kerala oh very yeah. good deva priya das come yeah yeah you talk on which topic you would like to speak please federal bank online innovation excellent carry on so federal bank as so of federal bank has uh, always been applauded for its online innovation even it has uh, got many laurel for this uh, feat they have achieved and uh, so some of the digital innovations include uh, fed e credit uh, it is a hand free digital loan it is the first of the online of many it is the first of the series of online products which federal bank have uh, offered under its initiative uh, biom which means be your own master and then there is a uh, online bimat account opening here uh, you can it is the first of the kind a uh, 60 second uh, bimat account opening ever in india mm. Uh, and that too uh, without any uh, document without any and, doc documents may be required can we open dmat account without document uh, i don't know what you have in mind doesn't matter continue 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 uh, then there is a uh, facebook selfie hmm. uh, i think that that was not a document it is uh, like document based hmm. okay then then the uh, facebook selfie it is actually uh, an e passbook come account opener so uh, federal bank ha has pioneered this online uh, bank account opening platform uh, back in 2015 it was only just uh, facebook which is e book and with the uh, renewed uh, version of it this pan card and uh, aadhar card any one uh, be sitting in the rural or urban areas they can now open their savings bank account uh, and then there is float for upi app it is uh, now uh, now we can now we don't have to remember the complex code like ifsc code or mmid number uh, and suppose we have three bank accounts uh, in three different banks now with uh, float for upi app Uh, we can bundle all these together and can do the transactions easily. Oh, very good. What is that? What is the tab called? Lo. Lotsa. Uh huh. Lotsa. Good. Yeah, yeah. But earlier I used to see. Nowadays I am not seeing that on screen. It's there in Federal Bank website. Say nowadays also. Yes, sir. Lotsa. Lotsa. Yes. L O T is that? Yes. Very good. Very good. Continue. Good. Yeah. And uh, so 
with this platform, uh, we can know our balance, uh, send and collect transfers, etc. Now, when there is loads of MPOS, that is loads of merchant point of, point of sales uh, services, like so. Here, uh, merchants don't have to worry about um, cash management and cash transactions. Here, uh, they can generate a, a QR code which contains all the details about the customer, like the amount he has to pay. What uh, is your degree, um, Devo Priyadas? MA Economics, sir. Oh, very good. For that, you are talking very nicely. Good. Very nice. Thank you. Um, best wishes. I think uh, we'll, this will be over in two, three minutes. We can use it for discussing anything that... Uh, tomorrow, uh, again, topics from the same book. Uh, please take up topics uh, 6 to 12. Uh, topic 6 to 12, I will read the topic. Uh, uh, what I want you to do, you read the topic fully, then make out some, say, now that you are asked to speak for two, three minutes, you can make out for one page material or one and a half page material that will be helpful. Here, the points given, the topics given, a dream of smart cities, myth or reality in India, then Child labor in India, an unavoidable dilemma. Organic farming, is it really feasible for all? Reservation policy in India, does it need a review? Is capital punishment justified? Make in India, big boost to industry and employment. Cyber crime, how to tackle it. So I have taken about seven topics here. So I would request you to read uh, all the seven and out of them choose any one that you find convenient. Prepare some short notes for one and a half page to two page. Read it once, twice. Then when you come here, you have to speak extempore without looking into that book. That's what it is. Thank you. All of you are doing a very good preparation. This, though it is not directly uh, related to the interview questions, the ability to communicate easily will give you confidence to speak in before the interviewers. And they are not expecting very tough ones, simple ones only. And this has been the case, you know, almost all, most of the candidates they use this point. What is that? Today also one girl has put it. What is that? It is very casual. Mostly follow-up questions based on what we say. This is what almost in all interviews, it happens like this. So please keep this in mind. So talk every word that appears only as positive, not as negative, so that you will get credit for them. Any sir, sir, what? Yeah. Sir, uh, I, I'm not forgetting. So I didn't get the interview date still. So I'm no, not thinking negatively. Some people, no, no. Some people have not received it yet. Oh. Many people have not received it. Uh, you oh. be in touch. You be in touch with our group, Telegram. Group. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Sir. Deva Priya, you also have not received. Yes, sir. I have received. Sir, some of us have mentioned that. Uh, if someone has failed to submit the documents, uh, I mean, upload the documents, all the documents in the app, there must be uh, there might be some delay. So, there may be delay, but normally they don't leave it at that stage. What they do, they take it up with the people asking you to resubmit it. Normally, okay. I I can't guarantee that, but normally they guarantee they follow it up. So this will be ending any time. And we will have our um, personal interview class just after about uh, 